Hello everybody, welcome to number 27. I'm Jack and today I'm here to talk with you about the contentious issue of backdates. Now we're going to be looking at two fantastic 911s and discussing whether this is something that's still worth doing today. Now the 911, because of its nature and the very incremental way in which this car was developed, with the air cool models, it was possible to make some of the earlier cars, sorry, some of the later cars, look like the earlier cars. But things have changed today, and I'm here to just ask, have we now reached peak backdate? I am in a fantastic, very original 3.2 that belongs to Al. I've always wanted to do a video on this car, and I've been sort of chatting to Al, looking for the opportunity to do it. And because I have access also to a backdate based on a 3.2, I thought this was absolutely the best opportunity to do that. So these 3.2s, lovely lovely things they really are they're incredibly well made they work very well as everyday cars they're very characterful they're just fantastic things really one thing that i would say about them is that they're not they are brisk they really aren't particularly fast now maybe to you that doesn't matter and as a road car it really doesn't matter that much but that's probably the only criticism that i would put to these cars and recently i drove one with a 964 engine in it and that was a lovely, lovely thing. Have a look at the video if you haven't already. I'll put a link to it now, hopefully, or at the end of this video, possibly. So anyway, 3.2s. Now, back in the day, what used to happen is that I, I remember myself when these were worth about, I mean, you could buy a Tati 3.2 for even 6,000 pounds, 8,000, 10,000 would buy you quite a respectable car. That was a long time ago. However, in those days, the early long hood cars, they were still fetching not that dissimilar figures to what they are today. So I think you still had to pay sort of upwards of 50,000, whereas you could buy one of these for eight to 10,000. But people did like the looks of the early cars and there was a period uh, in the sort of early 2000s when these were incredibly unfashionable. I guess at the time it did make a bit of sense if you really wanted to, to backdate a 3.2 or perhaps even an SC. They were super cheap as I've said. You could maybe spend £10,000 buying one, £10,000 buying the bits that you needed to do and for maybe £20,000 you had a car that looked very similar to a, an early 2.4 but drove like a more modern car, was more usable and had cost you maybe a third of the price. Today however things are a little bit different. There it is. So, believe it or not, these two are the same car. Now, they're both very pretty cars, I think you'll agree, and 3.2s, as I've said, have really come into their own recently. Back in the day, nobody particularly liked this model of 911, but now they do. That spoiler that used to be so unfashionable, the big whale tail T-tray spoiler, actually is back in vogue. Loads of people took those off these and are now putting them back on. So it is a, I, they do look great. You can't deny though that that does look pretty special. I've owned a 964, I've driven a lot of 911s, but I'm not really an expert on the earlier cars. And when I first saw this, I thought it was a bona fide, genuine 2.4. If you know these, there are a few little details that give the game away, but it is a great looking car. Now it's pretty much standard mechanically, very similar to this. The suspension has been lowered quite significantly, as you can see, but the engine hasn't been played about with it apart from a different exhaust. Now, Louis, who made this car, uh, is quite upfront about the fact that at the moment it doesn't drive particularly well. It doesn't drive anywhere near as well as this, I can tell you because I've taken them both out. The reason for that is simply that he needs to get some different uprights at the front, uh, play about with the suspension a bit because it's so low at the moment that it bump steers a bit too much. So certainly aesthetically, I think this looks like a really, really nice car and I think it's pretty much a success. What is interesting to think of though, is it still worth doing this? Does it still make sense in today's world with today's prices? So these used to go, these 3.2s used to be able to get one for about 10,000 pounds. Now for a good 3.2 like this one, you would probably be looking at about 60,000 pounds. 
You can get an early long hood for, depending which one, obviously not an S right hand drive, but you can get those from anything from sort of 60, 65,000 pounds and up. So doing a back date now in those terms would only make sense if you absolutely have to have the driving dynamic of one of these later cars. And to be honest, the 3.2, it does drive quite differently from an earlier car, but I'm not sure if it's worth doing it simply for the way that they drive because the 2.4s have their own sort of character. Um, they're quite lithe, they're quite light. Um, so on that side, I'm not sure if it would make that much sense. So let's have a look at the major areas that need attention if you're going to do a back date. The front of the car is by far the bit that's most changed between the earlier and the later cars. In particular, they're called long hoods for a reason. The earlier cars have a much longer bonnet before the impact bumper models like, like this one. So if you're gonna do a conversion, one of the first things to do is you have to change this front balance here. There's obviously a different front bumper, but also the front wings have a lot more metal on them and the indicators and these grills are integrated into them. But you can buy a kit that has the long hood, the front valance, the wings, the front bumper for around, I think just under 10,000 pounds. But that's obviously just taking care of some of the front of the car, that doesn't include any labor. The back end isn't altered quite as dramatically, but all the same, if you want the look of an earlier car, you have to have a whole different bumper section the rear bumper on this car is one piece. In the 2.4s, it had a pressed center section there, and the engine lid actually hasn't changed very much. It's mainly just a smaller grille, so that isn't too difficult to do. There's obviously a load of different grommets, seals, and all that kind of stuff that's involved in doing it. Now, the engines on 3.2s are simpler and cheaper to maintain, than the 2.4s with their mechanical fuel injection. So that is perhaps one thing to be aware of. If you do have a back date, it's probably gonna cost you a bit less to run as well as being more practical as an everyday car. Now the model that came after this, the 964, is quite famous because it is the base car that is used for singers. That takes the sort of back date concept to another level altogether. And maybe that is where we have reached the sort of peak of the back date of the 911. The big question is, is this still something that really makes sense with today's values? It's quite an involved process, it's quite an expensive process, and with all 911s now commanding like pretty ridiculous prices, would you really wanna mess about with it and sort of make some structural alterations in order to be able to make it look like an older car? Particularly at the front, the front valance, that requires cutting and welding, so it's, it's something that you can obviously go back to, but not easily. With the values that these command now, I just think it doesn't make any sense to do it if all you want to do is make your 3.2 or your SC look like one of the early cars. The values of SCs even are sort of 40,000 and above. By the time you factored in everything that you need to spend to do a back date, it just doesn't really make sense. If you want to do, if you want to have a sort of hot rod conversion, then perhaps that is a different thing. A car like this one, for example, which isn't obviously just a pure back date to make it look like an older car, but is more of a hot rod, that I guess you can kind of still justify to a certain extent. There is something quite pure though about the original cars, about the 3.2s. They're really great cars to drive and they, they just work as a whole. I'm not someone who's a real stickler for originality, but I think that in today's market, it doesn't make as much sense as it used to, um, to do the, to go down the back date route. Looks are quite a personal thing, but I don't think you can deny that Louis 3.2 is definitely more striking than the original. Does that though mean that doing a back date is always gonna be worthwhile? I think if you want to create something bespoke to you and you're willing to invest the money, then yes, it does make some sense. Financially though now, it really doesn't make much sense. Don't forget that back in the 80s, a lot of the long hood cars were actually being converted to make them look like the more modern 3.2s or the SCs. And people are now trying to undo what was done at that time. And I just wonder how many of these hot rods and these sort of back dates that we're doing now, a few years down the line, how many of those are gonna be converted back to look exactly like the original cars?
Do you think that the era of the backdate is over? Let me know what you think and I really look forward to seeing you for the next video.